Hi, I'm L from elbowpepper.com. I want to do a quick update showing how my fruit trees have progressed, how they've turned out this year. I did some initial video documenting early in the season at the beginning of the spring showing some very vigorous trimming and pruning that I did on the two peach trees and the apricot tree. And so they look completely different now. I want you to see that and also show my pear, my apple spoliar, so you can see how those have turned out. So it's been nice seeing the transformation and how these have really started to take shape and I just want to show that to you guys. Let's first look at my Asian pear and my apple trees. This apple tree didn't actually blossom or produce any fruit this year, but this one even though I only planted it last year, it seems like it might be a year ahead and already it has set fruit. So why don't I go around and we'll take a better look. All right, here we are. It's continued to get taller and taller, which is pretty awesome. But it's really awesome. And while we grow these, it's for the apples. Early on in the spring, whenever these bloomed and then began to set fruit, when the fruit were only maybe around this big, I went around all the clusters and I actually thinned them out. So right now, you still can see some tight clusters, but yes, I did pull some off. And the reason is you want your fruit to be able to get bigger and you don't want a whole bunch of little ones, but you want uh, a few less, but some nice bigger ones. So I'm hoping that I thinned it out enough, but uh, yeah, these are definitely developing very nicely. Now we can just come right along here. And here are the spoliar Asian pears. So I just continue to tie them on the line that I had stretched and force them outward horizontally. I'm using this stuff which actually works really great. Um, it has a certain amount of pliability to it so that it doesn't strangle or choke or girdle the branches uh, but as they thicken up it's able to expand with them. So I'm gonna put a link below uh, where I got this off of Amazon. But um, anyways I had a bunch of top growth, some water sprouts that were going straight vertical. And so just a couple weeks ago, maybe even a week ago, I came in and pruned those way back. Uh, here's one as an example. I just cut it way down and then I'm hoping that maybe this year coming up I'm going to be setting some actual fruiting wood so that in the spring next year I'll get some blossoms and maybe get some pears but it's coming along nicely um, not having any really major issues there was a certain type of mite whenever the leaves first emerged and uh, this type of mite will like burrow into the leaves and then they're like they have these bright red bumps and so I identified that that's what it was and I sprayed it with some sulfur and it seemed like it might have kept them at bay but uh, there is some residual damage now this isn't fire bite uh, it's just from that mite damage but uh, the rest of the tree has uh, continued to develop decently so it's looking promising now let's jump over to the other spot and look at the peaches and the apricot if you saw the pruning video the winter pruning video I did in early 2015 you might recall how brutally I had cut these trees back but just look look at how nicely they've begun to shape up here are one of the peaches this is the apricot and there is that other peach we had just seen so mostly I'm having some nice growth Mostly I'm not having major issues, but 
I'm going to show you some things that I am concerned about. Down here, this was one of those winter cuts that I had made. And you see that sap there? I don't know if that's some sort of perhaps a, a bacterial or a fungal thing that uh, is causing it to not heal properly. So I'm going to have to just kind of keep my eye on it and hopefully I won't have to cut it out. But uh, in doing additional research, it started to seem more and more like in my area as though it's not the best idea to prune these in the winter time. So it seems that maybe focusing a lot more of, of the pruning in the summer season works better because as the tree is actively growing, it can also actively heal the wounds that you create because it is growing. If you do it when it's dormant, it can't actually heal over those wounds, so they remain open and easy for infection to set in. And that's uh, some of the counter logic that I was researching and reading about. Now this, this already looks like a nice size, but believe it or not, I actually came in and did a whole bunch of size management already. And now, because of cutting off some of those terminal buds, we have some axillary buds that are breaking and sending out new growth. So we'll see how, how they splinter apart and how it all looks. Let's look at this apricot. This was such a difficult thing for me to deal with because this is such a vigorous grower and what happens is it sends out in the early spring, it sends out a whole bunch of lanky, fresh growth just very long, very vigorous, but structurally it's very flimsy. And so the branches, you just want to like sag down. I mean, literally just like hang down because they grow out so fast. So what I did, because you know, I want, I want that, that shape like this, not, not like that. What I did is I actually tied a whole bunch of supports um, and then pulled it in when I kind of showed a little bit of that on an earlier video and I had to do that yet again and since then I have like a nice I think a decent bowl shape that started and I've been able to remove see there's already a little bit of girdling that began to occur as I was trying to trying to pull those branches in but I've been able to remove that and now they're sturdy enough that they can support themselves and then I've come in and just cut just cut a whole bunch of this top growth and what we have going on now like I showed you these buds are all breaking and sending out fresh growth so instead of maybe one active bud now you might have a couple on the tip uh, two three that are all going to go out in different directions and then I'm going to select the ones that I want to leave on based upon the growth that I'm seeing so this peach this peach is doing all right. One cool thing about this, this is gonna be my first peach. So hopefully it will ripen properly and I'll actually come away with a peach in the first year after my initial year of planting. And going into the next season, there's gonna be a lot more wood that I'm going to leave on. So all this new growth hopefully is going to turn into fruiting wood for the next season. So I'm, I'm not gonna wanna cut it back crazy like I did that first year. And I'm starting to get like a better shape, especially if you saw the way it looked. It looked uh, not very promising at first, but it's starting to look like a tree now. So that's pretty cool. Well guys, that's all we have for today. I really think that if you have the space, if you have the ability to be able to grow some fruit trees, you definitely should. The sooner you start, the sooner you can be eating some fruit. I was able to get a nice harvest of some apples on that one tree that we were looking at. They've turned out pretty well. And uh, even though I only planted this peach tree last year, I actually already have one peach. So this is exciting, and I'm gonna pick it right now. My first peach that I've ever grown ripened right on the tree. This is as fresh as it gets. This is as ripe as it gets. And uh, 
I'm so excited about this. So, but I'm not going to just have it for myself. I got to share it with someone else. So I'm going to go do that right now. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I really appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. Give me a thumbs up. And as always, happy gardening.